5 Rules and Exercises to Develop and Maintain a Success-Friendly Mindset He decided to end 2016 with one more uncomfortable challenge, a 3-day water fast. Prior to coming up with this idea, the longest I went without food was about 40 hours and 40 hours without food isn't as challenging as one might think. You only skip one full day of eating, and if you're busy the entire day, you hardly notice it. A 3-day fast was something different. I decided that I wouldn't eat anything go on the 28th, 29th, and 30th of December. People ask me why I would do such a thing. What's the point of willingly experiencing such discomfort? Wasn't it dangerous? Wouldn't my muscles break down? Wouldn't I faint or spend entire days dreaming about food? My answer regardless of what crazy idea I come up with is always the same, if you want to grow as a person, you need to challenge yourself. It's one of my most important personal rules. I believe it's one of the key differences between people who realize their full potential and people who succumb to mediocrity and go through life never feeling entirely fulfilled or satisfied. Yes, I may suffer because of my experiments, but there's meaning in this suffering, I grow as a person and learn new lessons. In the end, my fasting challenge turned out to be a non event. It wasn't that much harder to go without food for 3 days as it is to go without food for 40 hours. Still, it was an interesting lesson and a new challenge I could add to my ever growing collection of weird experiments. Now I know that if I were ever forced to go without food for 3 days, I wouldn't suffer much. In this part of the book, each chapter will discuss a different rule to help you develop a success friendly mindset. I will accompany each principle with an exercise to introduce it in your everyday life. Please note that all of these rules are based on my personal experience and worldview. I don't claim to know all the answers, so please treat my suggestions as what they are suggestions. If a different rule works better for you, stick to it. You know yourself best. What's more important than following my exact rules? Is to have some success friendly rules that you follow in your life they will help you maintain consistent habits and cultivate your core values. Chapter 9, You Must Live Your Life The Hard Way and Regularly Embrace Uncertainty At the moment I'm writing this paragraph, in an hour I need to leave for a close quarters combat crop mega seminar. It will be a three hour long training covering situations such as being assaulted by an attacker with a firearm or being taken hostage. I've never attended such a seminar and I feel apprehensive about it. However, if years of embracing uncertainty have taught me something, is that whenever you feel uncertain about something, it's most likely going to help you grow a lot. I opened my first book, How to Build Self-Discipline, Resist Temptations and Reach Your Long-Term Goals, with a prologue. Titled, Life is Easy When You Live It the Hard Way. The words come from Kekakis Credos, 100 Rules Developed by Longevity Scientist David Kekak. The entire credo is as follows, real regrets only come from not doing your best. All else is out of your control. You're measured by results only. Trade excuses and trying for results, and expect half-hearted results from half-hearted efforts. Do more than is expected of you. Life's easy when you live it the hard way, and hard if you try to live it the easy way. This rule is one of the key elements of my decision-making process. Even if I often hate myself for putting myself in so much stress and discomfort, I know that in the long term, the stress I'm willingly learning to handle today will turn me into a stronger person. Point one of my favorite quotes related to this concept comes from Arnold Schwarzenegger, who said, Strength does not come from winning. Your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. No matter if you're old or young, male or female, living in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, or Antarctica, when you deliberately live your life the hard way, you will get stronger, and this will help you push through failures and achieve the success you want. However, please note that we're talking about voluntary, self imposed discomfort. People living in war zones might be the most resilient individuals in the world but I don't wish upon them or anyone, for that matter to suffer such a horrible situation unwillingly. Expanding your comfort zone voluntarily will help you handle non-voluntary circumstances. Hopefully these future.
Difficult moments won't be a matter of life or death, but will merely be about whether you accomplish your goal or not. Driving back home from the Krav Mega seminar, I realized that the anxiety I feel prior to leaving your comfort zone often overplays what's going to happen in reality. I was afraid I'd be the only one without a military background in a group of highly trained people who did have a military background. I was afraid I'd have a reckless sparring partner who wouldn't care if he injured me during the training. I was afraid the hostage situation simulation would be traumatic. In the end, none of those things happened. Okay, with the exception of Theladur. I suppose that lying on your stomach with your hands zip tied, a garbage bag on your head, a tape on your mouth, and gasping for air counts as traumatic. And due to practicing how to escape from zip ties, for a few days my hands looked as if I had spent a weekend in a sadomasochist dungeon. However, None of this was even close to what I was afraid of. The next time I participate in such an event, or anything similar, for that matter, I won't be even half as stressed by it as I was before my first seminar. That's precisely why regularly embracing uncertainty is so important for success. By continuously expanding your comfort zone, fewer and fewer unknown things in life will scare you. You'll be well equipped to face any discomforts with a calm attitude. You might even welcome them because of the growth they have given you in the past. As performance coach Tony Robbins once said, the quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably live with. The more uncertainty you can live with, the more you'll try, the more you learn, the more alive you'll be. The more you got to be certain about everything the less you'll have.